So this is a breakdown of all of my services stocks from the UK. So there'll be plenty of different industries, like retail, I think this is publishing, restaurants, that's casinos and gambling, a lot of real estate, different types of retail, that's communications. Yeah, so there's 17 in total. First of which is Associated British Foods. Ticker symbol is ABF. Trading for about 19 pounds, 25 pence per share. So it's in the apparel industry in retail. And it's an international food, ingredients and retail company. So its segments include grocery, sugar, agriculture, ingredients and retail. So it has a pretty low dividend yield of 0.31%. And it pays a semi-annual dividend, but I haven't received one yet. Next is Bloomsbury Publishing. Ticker symbol is BMY. It's trading for about £3.34 pence per share. And it's my only printing and publishing dividend stock. It's a global publisher. Has a dividend yield of 2.58%. I think it pays a semi annual dividend. It does, yes. And the last one I received was for 7.58 pence per share. Next is a pretty well known group Domino's. Ticker symbol is DOM. Sorry, I've been showing the one day graphs for all of these. I'll show you the maximums. Domino's actually has a massive growth over the last few years. It's associated with British Foods. And these are just the histories for this platform. So if you're going to invest in anything that you see here, make sure to have a look at the full stock history, going back to when the company went public. So this only goes to 2012. Anyway, Domino's, it's in the restaurants industry. It's a pizza delivery company. Has a dividend yield of 2.95%. And it pays a quarterly div or a semi annually di a dividend, but I haven't received one, unfortunately. Semi annual dividend. Next is Flutter Entertainment. Ticker symbol is FLTR. Trading for about £144.85 per share. And I think this is my only casinos and gaming industry stock. Yeah, Paddy Power, Betfair, based in Dublin. I know a lot of people at home use Paddy Power. It's a global sports betting and gaming operator. Has a dividend yield of 0.48%. And it pays a semi-annual dividend, but I haven't received one yet. Next is Greg's, ticker symbol G or G. They're trading for about thirty pounds and twenty-two pence for per share, and it's in the retail industry, specifically in groceries. And it's a food on the go retailer company. Has a dividend yield of a quite low zero point five one percent, and also no earnings per share at the moment. I think it also pays a semi-annual dividend. It does, yes, but I have not received one, unfortunately. Next is Hibernia, ticker symbol HBRN. Trading for about one pound and six pence per share. It's in the real estate operations industry. It's a real estate investment trust based in Dublin in Ireland. Dividend yield is a quite nice 4.19%. And it pays a semi-annual dividend. The last one I received was for 2.17 pence per share. Next is J Sainsbury. Ticker symbol is SBRY. Trading for about three pounds per share. And it's in the retail, the grocery industry. It's a general merchandise retailer. Has a dividend yield of 3.41%. The 
think it also pays a semi-annual dividend. It does, yes, but I haven't received one yet. Next is JD Weatherspoon. Ticker symbol is JDW. Trading for about ten pounds fifty-three pence per share. It's in the restaurants industry. It owns and operates pubs throughout the UK and Ireland. There's no dividend yield given at the moment, probably from the year that they've just had, but they usually pay a semi-annual dividend. And I have not received one as of yet. Operates a trading estate of approximately 879 pubs, 58 hotels, with 1,239 rooms. Mm. Next is Marston's, ticker symbol M-A-R-S, trading for about 80 pence per share. It's also in the restaurants industry, and it's engaged in running pubs and beer brewing. There's also no dividend yield given and a very low earnings per share, probably from last year. And it also pays a semi-annual dividend. Oh, I have actually received some from Marsons. The interim, so the halfway payment was 2.7 pence per share. And the final, so the last dividend payment was 4.8 pence per share. Next is Phoenix Breed Deutschland, ticker symbol PSDL, trading for about four pounds and four pence per share. And it's based in Jersey. It's in the real estate operations industry. So it's an investment company that invests in residential and commercial properties in Germany. Dividend yield is 2.28%. And I have not received the dividend as of yet, unfortunately. It pays a semi annual dividend. Next, we have Sirius Real Estate. Ticker symbol is SRE. Trading for £1.28 per share today. It's a real estate holding company based in Guernsey. Dividend yield of 2.63%. I think it also pays a semi-annual dividend. It does, yes, but I have not received one as of today. Next is Telecom Plus. Ticker symbol is TEP. Trading for £10.30 per share. It's in the communication services industry. And it's engaged in providing landline telephones. So calls and line rental, broadband, mobile, gas, electricity, and cashback card services. Dividend yield is a quite nice 5.57%, but no earnings per share at the moment. It pays a semi-annual dividend, but I have not received one as of today. Next is Tesco, ticker symbol TSCO. So it's trading for about two pounds fifty-seven pence per share. So it's in the grocery retailing industry, and it's engaged in the business of retailing and associated activities in retail and retail banking and insurance services. Dividend yield is three point nine percent. It pays a semi-annual dividend. And the last one I received was for 5.95 pence per share. Next is Tritax Big Box Real Estate Investment Trust. Ticker symbol is BBOX. Trading for £2.32 pence per share today. It's in the real estate operations. A REIT is a real estate investment trust. So it's investing in logistics facilities in the UK. Dividend yield is a quite safe 2.76%. And it actually pays a quarterly dividend. The last one I received was for 1.71 pence per share.
Next one is another REIT, UK Commercial Property Real Estate Investment Trust. Ticker symbol is UKCM. Trading for close to 77 pence per share. And it's also based in Guernsey. Has a dividend yield of about 3%. Has a negative earnings per share, so losing money. And it pays a semi-annual dividend. No, quarterly. And the last one I received was for 0 0.51 pence per share. Second last, we have Vodafone Group. Ticker symbol is VOD. We're trading for about £1.22 per share. It's in the communication services industry, and it's a telecommunications company. Dividend yield is a nice 6.39%. And it pays a dividend twice a year and the last one I received was for 3.83 pence per share and the last is Zagona Communications ticker symbol is ZEG trading for about one pound 53 pence per share it's in the communication services industry it's focused on network-based communications and entertainment opportunities Dividend yield of about 3%, 3.18. And it pays a semi-annual dividend, but I haven't received one yet. So that's it for this one. And I'm going to do a separate breakdown just to isolate the real estate stocks from the UK. So the real estate investment trusts and the real estate operations. I want to separate each bit out as much as possible so that if anyone's looking for a particular sector or country or section, then everything will be grouped together. Because kind of throwing everything, throwing all the service, the services stocks in one uh, video, they'd be from all over the world. And you know, there's anybody who might be watching could be based anywhere in the world. So I'm going to isolate everything into separate playlists. But I think that's all, 17, as far as I know. Yeah, and I'll get the real estate one. I should get that updated or uh, uploaded today as well. But I hope you found this useful. And hopefully I'll stop by again soon.